Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys are having a good week so far. I have just been trying to get my YouTube channel back under control. I've been kind of here and there and everywhere, but hopefully you guys understand. I'm going through a lot lately, so um, yeah, I'm going to start, I think, with beauty. I have not a ton, but normally I don't really haul beauty that much anymore, so let's see. I'm going to start with these. So Bolero has a whole new line. Usually every couple of months they introduce like a new line of different scents and different products. Um, all I picked out were the facial wipes first. I love the pattern of these. It reminds me of a giraffe, but they had a couple different kinds. I just picked up the ones that are infused with tangerine oil and these are for cleansing and hydrating and you get 32 of them in there. And I did actually open this at the store because I knew that I was going to want this one and it smells so good. It smells like fresh oranges. So yeah, picked up those. And another Bolero thing that I picked up was this, let's see, what is it? Shimmer Body Lotion Mist in Energizing Pineapple, an energizing blend of skin hydrating ingredients. So you spray it onto skin and massage into skin. But yeah, if you can kind of tell, it has some shimmer to it. But this one, um, it smells really, really good. It actually smells like fresh pineapple. The other ones, I will warn you guys, if you find them, they smell very rubbing alcohol-ish. If that's a word, alcohol-ish. They smell a lot like rubbing alcohol. Um, I loved the watermelon one. The watermelon one smells really fresh, but it does have that overwhelming alcohol smell. So this one was the only one that I smelled that didn't. So that is just a little tip for you guys if you're looking for these. This next product was the Dollar Tree that I bought this at. They kind of had it set up with the Bolero stuff. So they have little sanitizing wipes and hand sanitizer spray. So they had citrus scented, lavender, and coconut. And I just picked up two bottles of the citrus scented hand sanitizer spray. And I actually have the other one in my car and I've been using it. Like when I go shopping, I come back out and do a couple squirts and it smells really good. It doesn't smell overwhelming, like rubbing alcohol or anything. It just has a nice citrusy smell to it. So I would highly recommend grabbing these if you like this kind of stuff. All right, next I found a couple of new chapsticks. The first one is Lip Smackers and it is in chocolate chip cookie. I don't know how I feel about this one, but yeah, it doesn't give you like a description or anything, but I figured I would open it and we'll see what it smells like because I was just very intrigued. They had a couple different ones on the little clip strip. I can't even remember what they were, but when I saw this one, I was like, I better try that because it just sounds. Hmm. So it just smells like if you've ever had like chocolate lip smackers or anything like that, that's just what it smells like. I don't really get chocolate chip cookie from it. I get chocolate, but yeah. And it's my favorite color, this like mint green color. This next one I thought was a pretty good deal. You get two little lip balms in here and they're icy. They only had the cherry. So I'm hoping they feel like they might be a little bit smaller than, oh, maybe not. Let's see. Oh yeah, they're just a little tiny bit smaller than regular lip smackers, but these ones are, ooh, they smell like the original cherry chapstick, if you are familiar with that. They smell really good. So there's two of these. Next item I picked up 
were these blemish patches. So I have bought these before. We have tried them. Jenna and I, I get random little breakouts and she's 12 so she's starting to experience the lovely world of breakouts. And these actually work really well for us. They, um, you just stick them on. I usually stick them on at night, leave them on overnight, and they absorb the oil and the yucky stuff that's in your blemishes. So yeah, you get 24 of them in here. And they do come in different sizes. There's an eight millimeter and a 12 millimeter. So it kind of shows you on the back there, you get 12 of each size, which is pretty good for a dollar. And this next thing, I have been finding more and more hard candy. I have a ton of lipstick that's gonna be coming up in a different haul. I'm actually wearing some right now and I love it. And I also found the oil-free loose powder. It says it's shine free all day, 12 hour matte finish and it's translucent. So it's like the white color, so it blends in. I have it over my makeup today. My lighting just freaking sucks. I need to get like something better. My ring light is too bright. My bedroom light is not bright enough. <laughs> I'm like struggling with lighting. But anyways, this I have on over my foundation and concealer today and I love it. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't have a weird smell. Sometimes I've noticed that the translucent powder has like a chemical smell. This one doesn't. It smells just like powder. So yeah, I was really happy to see these. I picked up quite a few because I love setting my face with powder. Next, I grabbed a value pack of the nail brushes. So you get a smaller one and a bigger one. Hey, okay, and the last thing as far as like beauty and personal products and stuff like that are these Simply Spa, um, what are they? Scrubbers, exfoliating scrubbers. So I got this one, it is, it's like a round shape and it's charcoal infused dual texture body scrubber. And I found, it's also by Simply Spa, charcoal infused. This one is an exfoliating bath glove. So that was it for beauty products. Next, I have kind of some like back to schoolish kind of stuff. Um, I had this on my wish list and I figured I was gonna get it because lots of people have hauled it and it's Jot. So Dollar Tree brought out an electric pencil sharpener. I mean, it's battery operated, so it probably won't, like, I feel like it probably won't last that long, but, you know, whatever. I picked up a purple one for us to try. It's got your little instructions in there, and then you put your batteries in here. Um, I am curious, though, what kind of batteries it takes. I feel like it's probably double A's. Oh no, it's triple A's. So it takes three triple A batteries in there and then you just, it has a little sticker to keep the back on. So then you just pop that back on there. I They also had these two little sets. So this is by Unison, Graphite Force. It's a two count sharpener and you have a it sharpens either number two pencils or crayons and you also get a bonus two hole sharpener here so honestly what I'm gonna keep this for is sharpening my eyeliner I love just like regular little school pencil sharpeners to sharpen eyeliner they work so much better than like the beauty ones to me and this I don't know if Dollar Tree has always sold this and I just haven't noticed it because I haven't needed it but this is by Paper World, which is out of New York. This is graph paper, and it even says on here, you'll need it. Jenna needed graph paper last year for school, and we didn't have any. So I bought her some. It says it's quad ruled, four squares per inch. There's 50 sheets of it in here, and it is hole punched. So she can stick it in a binder, stick it in... A little folder that she can just keep at home for when she's doing her homework 
or whatever. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. And this next thing was also in the back to school. It's a little keychain, but it's a flashlight. So you put three AAA batteries in here and it says it has high, low, and strobe. So that's like flashing. It's 100 lumens, so it should be pretty bright. And I'm assuming that the light comes out of this little light bar right here. So fall has started trickling into Dollar Tree. In my next couple of hauls, you're going to see a few fall things. We haven't gotten the signs and all the stuff that I'm impatiently waiting for, but I did pick up some of the fall florals so that I can put together a little fall centerpiece thing. I don't know yet. Um, but I just picked up some of these. They're mini mums. So they're just little flowers and they have these cool little kind of curly branch things sticking out everywhere. I just thought those were kind of fun. And I was trying to find stuff that would all kind of go cohesively together. And this year they have some eucalyptus. I just picked up two of these kind of army green and goldish ones. And then they have these that are just called fall grass. And to me, they look like little flowers. So, but I just thought that they went really well with that eucalyptus. And then you've got the mums to kind of add a little bit of color. So yeah, I got these to put in this little vase. I freaking love this. This one is the one I picked. The other ones were colors that didn't really match my decor. Um, but yeah, it's got like the lines on it and it just looks like it was kind of dipped. I love it. A couple boring things. I picked up some packs of the quick erasers. These are a dupe for the Mr. Clean Magic erasers. These work just as well. Slime has officially re-entered my household as much as I love it. Um, Jackson is super into slime right now and Jenna, if you guys remember, Jenna made a slime tutorial video. It was like one of my first videos on my channel. So if you have little ones who are super into slime, go back and check that video out. So with all the back to school stuff out, they've got different types of glue coming out. So the kids have been making a lot of slime. So I picked them up two of these Sure Fresh containers. You get four in each. They're one and a half cups and then they each have their own little lid. So yep, they're perfect for individual little batches of slime. Another find that was actually pretty amazing. I bought quite a few. Actually, I bought three. I bought one for the kitchen and one for each bathroom. They had soft soap refills. So it's refreshing citrus, hand soap, washes away bacteria, good for 800 plus dispenses out of a 7.5 ounce dispenser. And this is 50 fluid ounces or 1.47 liters. They do smell really good. I already opened one of them up and yeah, they smell really good. So that's an exciting find for a dollar. These go for probably at least four or five at Walmart. So anytime you can save a couple bucks, that's always a good thing. So I did find another reusable bag because Lord knows I need another one. I have a bag full of bags, but it's this pretty like, and I'm just going to say animal print because it's not really leopard print. It's not really cheetah print. It's just animal print. And I couldn't pass it up. So I grabbed one. It's got the black on the sides and then it's got the black handles and it's a good size. Another cool thing that I found are these little double walled mugs is what they're calling them. So these are 14.5 fluid ounces. They had pink, blue, and red. I just grabbed a pink and a blue, but they're like 
almost like a silicone kind of non-slip on the outside and then when you open it up it's got like hard double wall plastic inside so I'm planning on doing some kind of Cricut decal on these like I don't know they remind me of wine glasses but I'll probably just put something cute on there like maybe about like camping or something like that and we can just toss them in our camping tote and have little glasses for when we go camping anyways I thought these were pretty cool for a buck like these I've been buying clear I've been buying the clear plastic tumblers with the straws and lids and stuff at Michael's they're like four dollars a piece so and I've just been practicing stuff on those with my Cricut so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram make sure that you go over there and check it out I'll put it in the description box it's Amelia underscore Bedelia 111 that's my handle over there and I've been posting pictures of my Cricut projects that I'm making my tumblers that I'm diving into my to-go cups that I'm diving into all the fun art projects I'm starting so I have um, immersed myself in the world of resin and epoxy resin and all that kind of stuff so it's been super fun which leads me into my next few things I picked up the crafter square glitter surprisingly I haven't been able to find this lately I don't know like if everybody is doing crafts and taking all the glitter but I bought three different little packs so this pack is blues and greens and there's a silver right in the middle this one has white glitter kind of color shift glitter silver black red almost and like a charcoal gray and then this one I got to make a sunflower tumbler this one has gold Kind of a light gold a dark gold rose gold orange a mix of like rose gold and regular gold and then a brown so that one's really cool that'll be perfect for a sunflower tumbler i also got these they came out with blank bright colored pop sockets so we've got lime green pink and kind of a purple I thought that they were glow in the dark at first, but I don't think they are. I think they're just kind of like neon. And they were with these, these are little phone pockets. So you can put your cards in here. Like if you don't want to take your purse in, you can just stick like your ID and your debit card in this and just take your phone. So these I'm actually going to do, um, glitter resin on the back of these I might do a little tiny decal like a flower or something on there but I'm just gonna use these as practice for when I buy a little bit better quality pop sockets and also over in like the technology stuff I guess I picked up another one of these little car cell phone charger or cell phone holders these I've never had a problem with these my other one finally I left it in the hot car and these little prong things the little covers kind of melted so I had to pick up another one but I've never had a problem with these they don't fall out of my vents or anything they hold my phone nice so yeah grabbed another one and I grabbed some of these they're by tech essentials which I have no idea where this is from distributed by Shalom International but there are 25 screen cloths in here and they're good for technology we are in the home stretch here i grabbed this 2022 calendar i love this one because it's got it also comes with a little notepad with the plaid and the little rooster and this is a shopping list but it's the black buffalo check print super farmhouse I love it and I also found some of the Main Street wall creations wallpaper that I've seen everyone hauling this was the only pattern I wanted I actually picked up six of these I'm going to put them on a piece of the foam board from Dollar Tree 
and make like a little background thing for when I'm taking pictures of my tumblers to eventually put on my Facebook group to sell. So that's what these bad boys are for and they're huge. This is probably, if you've seen the tiles, the peel and stick tiles at Dollar Tree, I would say this is probably equal to about two of those. So if you're wanting something like that for just like a background, I would say go with these instead because you can cover a little bit more area for less money so Jackson picked out a Hot Wheel this one is a Dodge an 87 Dodge D100 and it's part of the Hot Wheels race team so it's like an old school Dodge but it's got the Hot Wheel logo on there he thinks this is just so cool it's got a little extra tire in the back and man this kid he's getting such a hot wheel collection like usually i don't even put the hot wheels in my halls because he just as soon as we get home he rips them open and takes them so i'm like all right fine okay so we are at the end of the haul i'm gonna finish it out with food this haul is already gonna be super long so let's see First, this is a repeat purchase. They brought the Forbes Old Fashioned Premium Brand Taffy back in, they had creamsicle and watermelon. I still have a couple bags of watermelon that I hauled a little while back. So I picked up two of the creamsicle. If you guys haven't tried these, holy cow, they are good. These ones and the watermelon ones. I have those ones in my candy jar right now next to the couch and the kids love them. I picked up two bags of those. I picked these up anytime I can find them because I love them. Um, they're have a lucky hair on there. They are mini bars peanuts, and they're just tiny. They're only like, well, I'll open this because I was planning on eating some anyways just little they're individually wrapped so they're like about the size of like an individual I don't know candy that's wrapped like if you get like individual the little mini Snickers squares they're probably about that big um get 3.18 ounces servings per container there's three three pieces in a serving so you get apparently nine in here and these are really good the pumpkin seed ones are really good too if you're just looking for something quick and little to get some protein um yeah they have sesame seeds in them and the peanuts so they're really yummy i picked these up for the children these are the Sour Punch Bites, and it has strawberry, green apple, and blue raspberry in there. The kids love those. These little gummies are new. They're from the, uh, the Gummy Factory. It says Original Gummy Fun Mix Tropical Fish Party. Up to 18 varieties. There's... A bunch of different fish shapes, different flavors, orange and <laughs> I'm reading the flavor. There's a starfish. So it shows you the different ones there. I don't know if I can get it close enough for it to focus on all the flavors. I'm not gonna read all the flavors. They are good. This is the second bag. We opened the other one. The only one that my kids did not like was the mango and cream because I don't know. They, the mango just was very artificial. All right. And the last thing are the flips. Chocolate covered pretzels, but this is a new flavor. These are s'mores. And again, this is the second bag and we opened one, tried them. They are so good. If you like s'mores flavored stuff, you will love these. So my kids go crazy for these chocolate covered pretzels. So yeah, give these a try if you see them. They are delicious. 
So that is everything for this Dollar Tree haul. I tried to keep it short. It's probably going to be kind of long. Um, I've got more hauls coming finally. I, like I said before, fell off the radar for a little bit, but I am back and ready to go. So I hope that if you liked this video, you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Stick around. Stick around for some more hauls, some more craziness that is the life of Amy, Mommin' on the Cheap. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!